We've heard for months now about the difficulties for many businesses to fill jobs. Well, SUNY's doing something to try and help match job seekers with employment opportunities. Joining us now to talk about SUNY's expansion of its micro credential program, SUNY Assistant Vice Chancellor Kyle Adams. Kyle, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, let's start right there when we say micro credentials. I mean, what, what is that? Um, they're not necessarily new, but you are expanding them. So, so what is this program all about? Yeah, so we've been talking for a long time about the need for higher education to adapt to today's learners. And this is really a huge part of that. It's short, compact credentials designed to get the learner in demand skills to show to an employer. You can put it on your resume, put it on your badge, it's verified. And it moves you forward. And this is a matter of months, not years. Oh, okay. That's what I was going to ask you. As, as opposed to going to say two years at a community, you could you could get this done in a, in a few months, maybe a, a couple of different courses or things like that. Yeah, absolutely. And the great thing about SUNYs is that they're stackable. So mm -hmm. you can do mm -hmm. one, and that may lead to uh, a credential or an advanced certificate or a degree if you continue uh, on with your education. Kyle, what would you say, I'm sure it's pretty broad based, um, there's a lot of opportunities, but what are the fields these programs cover and more specifically, what are the new ones that are you, you're creating? So we currently have 426 mm. uh, across the SUNY system. So there are a lot. Uh, they're developed by campuses to meet regional and uh, statewide needs, often in collaboration with local employers. So there's really a, a broad range. Uh, we know right now there's a, a high demand for things like healthcare, mm. for IT, cybersecurity, uh, clean energy, um, and, and really a whole range of things in business, nonprofit, uh, pretty much anything you could, you could want to find in there. What would you say the issue is right now in filling a lot of these jobs? I mean, why are employers having so much trouble? Yeah, I mean, we hear over and over again. Uh, we see it nationally, we see it at the state level that there is a skills gap. Mm. Um, the technology uh, is moving very quickly, the workforce is changing very quickly, and workers struggle to adapt and keep up. Um, so again, you know, if you got a four-year degree 10 years ago, you may need some new skills uh, to, to make yourself uh, a really attractive candidate again. So this is exactly what that's designed for. You can spend a couple months getting those skills and uh, moving forward. I see. Um, speak to the employers now. I mean, how can this help them? Because clearly they're the ones that are looking for, like you said, qualified job candidates. They're not just looking for, you know, resumes to come in there. I mean, is there a direct pipeline? I mean, how do they or how can they benefit from something like this? Yeah. Uh, so, like I said, our campuses work directly with a lot of employers. Mm. Uh, to meet their needs specifically. So they can develop micro-credentials in collaboration with that employer uh, to develop their workforce with the skills that they need. Uh, so employers can benefit um, really very directly. They can reach out yeah. to a SUNY campus today and, and, and start developing something. And really, really obviously then tailor that to, to what they're looking for. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, now speak to the employers out there. Um, let's say I'm in a job looking for something different or I don't have a job right now. Um, why do I want to get involved in something like this? Yeah, uh, so if you are working in IT right now and you want to take your career in a slightly different direction or just move forward in your career, you might want some really specialized skills to do that. Something that's really in demand right now, for example, is Python programming. Uh, we have a, a variety of micro-credentials in Python programming to get you that skill set, put it on your resume, mm. show to employers, hey, I know this, and uh, I'm qualified uh, for a promotion or to switch careers, whatever it is that you're looking to do. Oh. Um, also, too, when we're, when we're talking to potential, um, you know, job candidates out there, would you say these are jobs or could people really look at these as potential careers? Yeah, I, I would say absolutely both. Uh, you know, we do know that there are more than 2 million uh, adult New Yorkers who have some college, no degree. This is a great way to get back into higher ed in a really accessible way without the full commitment of, you know, a two-year or four-year degree mm -hmm. and uh, increase your employability. So that could lead to a career. Um, and for people who are already, you know, mid-career professionals, this is a ladder up. Got time for one last one for you. I mean, how do, how do people get involved? I mean, contact one of their closer SUNY campuses, or, or how do they get involved with one of these micro-credential programs? Uh, yeah, you can absolutely contact your local campus, always in favor of that, but we also have a system-wide search, a SUNY-wide search at suny.edu slash micro-credentials. Perfect. 
Kyle Adams, thank you so much for joining us. Great opportunity for people out there and employers too. Really appreciate you breaking down the SUNY micro credential program. Thanks for having me on.